So we're over here at the house, uh, my house. We took and got all the tires off the other day, and um, Brennan and Justin, well, mostly Brennan done the uh, the metal for the tractor. Justin did some furniture, outdoor furniture that he bought on sandblasting. But there's what they look like so far. Uh, we just put some tape around them um, just to kind of keep the tape somewhat off the tires so it didn't look so bad. And uh, that's two coats on there now. What right? Two one on, on this one side. One on this side. Get more paint. Um, one Max coat. This is uh, on this other side that. back here. That's two coats of paint there. And we're going to put three coats all together. And this is just that rust oleum paint that we usually use for stuff. But uh, not too bad looking. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of shine on some of it starting right in there. But uh, we'll get another two coats. This is, uh, I think, a gloss gray. But right back here, you can see all the sand. For when we were sandblasting, we had all the sand going everywhere. We still got to pick up some of the little pieces of board and stuff. But uh, we had all that used, I think, 500 pounds. on just the rims, right? 500 on the rims. And the uh, metal for the tractor, and then Justin used about another 150 pounds for his uh, furniture on his patio furniture. We got the uh, Brennan's gonna go down there and open up right now the door when we got all the hood and stuff. But that don't look too bad. That's an old trailer. We're probably going to restore one day or redo, redo the whole thing. But there's a uh, there's a fender. See if I can get my light on. Uh, there's another fender back there. And there's the hood. I know it looks a little funny right now. This I just got my light on my phone. Um, and there's the furniture that he uh, sandblasted. We haven't painted it yet, neither. It's going to be black. We had to stop because the um, it started raining on us. So we couldn't finish up. I mean... We were actually loading stuff in the trailer as it was just starting to, to rain. So we hurried up right quick and got it all in there and beat the rain. So but you can kind of see how shiny that rims are going to be. All right, well, we're going to go over and do the uh, column on the um, tractor today and all that metal that you see inside there. We're going to do all the red first and then we're going to go back tape up the red on the stirring column part and then paint the tractor the body of the tractor all right well y'all have a good and i'll make another video as soon as we can get that red paint on and we're going to do a they call it a tack coat so it, it really won't be too red but it'll be something okay we'll just back out here i just went and got the paint uh to work a short to y'all uh there's what they look like now. They have four coats on the outside, three on the inside. Uh, we just wanted to make them look a little better, a little shinier on the outside. And there they are. Uh, if you look at it, you can actually see my uh, reflection there in the center of the rim. But, uh, yeah, we got all of them done. We got the... Uh, Brennan's done starting to take them and put them up there in the uh, garage. I'm going to keep them under there for a little while that way that... You can see some of the shine on top, but that way we can keep uh, keep them from getting rained on. It's kind of it's kind of overcast, not real bad, but they're saying maybe some rain this afternoon. So go ahead and stick them in the garage up there. But yeah, there they are. Um, and this is the paint I wanted to show you, just in case y'all wanted to try some of this. Uh, it's just the uh, this is the smoky gray the gloss smoky gray and um it's just we bought it at walmart it's just the regular old rust-oleum paint um really nothing special about it my son we built that trailer that we look if you look on my channel you'll see just put in trailers there's one that's got a metal bottom on it and the reason that i don't mind using this stuff even on a tractor is it's pretty durable is he actually put some gravel in the bottom of that thing about two months after we painted it and took a shovel, a flat shovel, and pushed it off. And it actually didn't, I mean, he had just just a few 
scratches on it. Really wasn't that bad. So but there you go. There's what they look like. And you can sit straight up. That's how big the tires are. What are you about five? What? About five eight. Five eight. So that's how big those tires are. But that's what we just thinned it up with. Just some regular old lacquer thinner. And um, I don't know if it's actually correct to do or not, but it's the way we do it. And I've never, like I say, the durable, the finish is there. The only way you can get it to spray through the gun, I mean, that's just a, uh, that gun that we have there is a, it came, my son bought it on eBay, and I think he gave like 15 bucks for it. So, I mean, it's like a cheap, cheap, cheap gun. And we just have a little, um, regulator and we put it on about 40 pounds and it's just a air separate you know just got a dryer on it too and uh i mean we don't have anything fancy i mean we just but you know if it works and it's cheap we use it so but uh that's it i mean they're finished they look good um we shouldn't have any problems with them later on we get this tape off uh and that'll be it um we did, like I say, we wanted to... You sure you got that? Yeah. Hang on, man. All right, I'm going to let... All right, let me go. I'm going to help him. Here, uh, we're using the Majestic paint. Let me show it first right quick. There's what it looks like. We bought it at Tractor Supply. It's the Mass Ferguson Red. And you can get those at Sherwin-Williams is where you went and got the little pop-top right there. But uh, there's the first tack coat. It was orange like this. And we got the first tack coat on it, which is uh, starting to get it red. Um, we went ahead and sprayed the front. I hadn't got much battery, so we sprayed the front here um, the same color as the uh, rims are. And this will be close to the Massey Ferguson uh, gray that's on the front of them, the stickers and all. We got the front little grill here finished up. We still got the headlight piece to go in there. I've got to get the headlights out of it and spray it. And then I've got to make a top grill right there. And this is the first tack coat on the uh, pieces, all the little side pieces, the fenders. That's the fenders. You can see how much paint is on the floor. Um, there's what it looks like. These were the ones that were gray. They were solid gray earlier. So, and then they were had a little bit of orange right there on that, but we didn't get them all the way. But uh, there's a spot right there that I don't know if something was on it or something, a sticker or something at one time. I guess maybe from the metal because we had a hard time painting it. But there's just the first tack coat. They call this a tack coat. You just want you don't want to put it on too thick. And we didn't really put it on that thick. It was just because it was all grayed. Um, that it, you know, that it's, there's some spots here and there. I don't understand what's causing them. Um, like that one right there. Uh, it's probably the same thing that was causing that in there. I don't know if it's the primer had a run in it and we sanded it out or something. But didn't do it on this side here, so. Ah, uh, y'all have a good one. I got my battery is just about dead. It just beeped a minute ago. That's our first tack coat, and like I say, we're using the magic paint there. Um, we took and bought a gallon of it, even though we didn't have. Well, I mean, probably don't have as much red to spray as we do gray. So, but there it is, first tack coat. We'll get on it. You got to wait, let it dry 24 hours. And then recoat it again. So we'll get in here and get with it again later. Ah, uh, well, y'all have a good one and. Uh